a fan brought attention to today's topic, emphasizing the struggle of dealing with sexual assault and its lasting effects on survivors. Here are their words. I'm struggling with SA. It's just a hard thing. It might be harder than losing someone because you know that person you love will be gone one day, but you don't think that assault could happen to you. I've been asking for this for a long time. This is a childhood trauma too. These words resonate with the unspoken battles many face. If you are a survivor, this may be especially tough for you. And if at any time you feel you need to step away, please feel free and supported in that decision. Our aim is to illuminate the profound impact on mental health, offer unwavering support to survivors, empower our community, and foster a culture of support and understanding. Sexual assault is an atrocious act that shatters lives without permission. This reality hits closer to home than you might imagine. Close friends, family members, or even neighbors could be silently battling the aftermath. It's a transformative experience that alters a person's core. Many survivors carry this burden in silence, weighed down by shame and fear of judgment. Trigger warning. This content may evoke discomfort and could be triggering for some. But by breaking the silence and shedding light over the shadows, we break through the stigma one conversation at a time. So let's begin. Sex. The word alone is enough to make many feel a flush in the face, adjust their collar, squirm in their seat, which might be why we don't really talk about these things, but we have to. Sexual violence refers to any form of unwanted sexual contact. It can happen between people in romantic relationships. It can happen in families, at work, and between friends and acquaintances and strangers. It often occurs in private places between people who know each other. In fact, about half, 51.1% of female victims reported experiencing SA by an intimate partner and 40.8% by an acquaintance. Women with disabilities, indigenous women, women of color, and women who are homeless or underhoused are at the highest risk. But that said, no matter their background, identity, gender, or circumstance, sexual violence can happen to anyone. The following is a list of some, but definitely not all, of the symptoms commonly observed in survivors. Whatever your experience, it's valid, and the process isn't linear. Some symptoms develop over time. Some are such a slow burn that you don't even realize that your suffering is a symptom of trauma. CPTSD, complex post-traumatic stress disorder, Survivors of sexual violence may develop complex post-traumatic stress disorder, or CPTSD. This condition encompasses the symptoms of PTSD, but also includes additional challenges. Survivors may experience difficulties with emotional regulation, self-perception, and interpersonal relationships. In many cases, CBT, or cognitive behavioral therapy, has proven to be effective in managing these symptoms. CBT uses practical self-help strategies that are designed to immediately improve your quality of life. Trust and intimacy issues. Sexual trauma can deeply impact your ability to trust others, including close friends, family, and romantic partners. Fearing vulnerability and re-traumatization. If you can relate, allow yourself to take your time, set your pace, and try to surround yourself with understanding and patient individuals. Depression and anxiety. Many survivors of sexual trauma face an increased risk of developing depression and anxiety disorders. It's understandable. You may feel hopeless, worthless, guilt, excessive worry, panic attacks, and social anxiety may also be a part of your experience. It doesn't have to be that way forever, and you don't have to suffer in silence. The first step is talking to someone that you trust. Self-esteem and body image. Sexual trauma can significantly affect your self-esteem and body image. It's common to experience feelings of shame, self-blame, and a distorted perception of your own worth. This can lead to self-destructive behaviors such as self-harm or disordered eating, which often relates to dissociation and emotional numbing. Dissociation is a common coping mechanism for survivors of sexual trauma. It's a way to detach from your emotions, thoughts, or surroundings as a defense mechanism against overwhelming distress. 
Emotional numbing, feeling disconnected from yourself or others may also be a part of your experience. Be gentle with yourself as you navigate these feelings. Sexual dysfunction. Sexual trauma can definitely lead to pretty extreme changes in your relationship with sexuality. Some may experience sexual dysfunction, such as difficulties with arousal, desire, or pain during sexual activity. It's important to note that these effects can vary from person to person. Some survivors may experience hypersexuality, engaging in risky sexual behaviors or compulsive sexual activities. On the other hand, others may develop sexual avoidance, experiencing fear, anxiety, or a loss of interest in sexual activities. Your feelings and your boundaries are valid flashbacks and triggers. Survivors of sexual trauma often experience vivid flashbacks, reliving the traumatic event as if it were happening again. Triggers such as certain smells, sounds, or situations can evoke intense emotional and physical reactions, causing distress and anxiety. Grounding techniques, such as the rule of five, can be very helpful for this. The rule of five exercise involves identifying five things that you can see, four things that you can touch, three things that you can hear, two things that you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. Grief and mourning. Severe and traumatic events change us. There's a version of us from before the trauma that we can never get back. And there's an element of mourning that we seem to go through for the versions that we've lost. Some of the most common components of the grief process are guilt, anger, and blame. When grief-related rumination enters the chat, victims tend to cycle through those would've, could've, should've thoughts as you try to make it make sense. Sometimes it can be easier to blame yourself than to contend with the truth. There is no sense to make of it. And often there is no closure. It's not fair. It was not your fault. You are not to blame. If you are a survivor of sexual trauma, know that there is nothing you could possibly do to deserve what has happened to you. There is no reality where you deserve to be treated that way. You are not at fault and you're not defined by what happened to you. Seek support and engage in self-care practices that help you rebuild and rediscover yourself and your self-esteem. Healing is a journey and you deserve compassion, understanding, and support along the way. Take care of yourself and know that you are resilient. When you're ready, you will find home in yourself again. Sexual trauma can have profound psychological effects on survivors, impacting their mental health and overall well being. It's crucial to approach this topic with empathy, understanding, and support. If you or someone you know has experienced sexual trauma, Seeking professional help from therapists or support groups can be instrumental in the healing process. Remember, recovery is possible and no one should face these challenges alone. Let's work together to create a space that supports survivors and fosters healing. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who may need it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.